Hey guys, I just got this question. I'm gonna answer it now. Which hero is your strongest and which is the most fun? Let's check it out together, Chuckable. Uh, first, let's see the most amount of wins, not the losses. Most amount of wins is Razor, Clinks, Tide, Clockwork, and Spectre. I, I played Spectre mostly between Herald, Guardian, and Crusader. Clockwork got me from, I believe, Crusader to Archon and Legend. And Clinks, I played it all throughout, as I did with Razor and Tide. So if we look at the win rate among the top five most wins, Spectre and Clock gave me the most MMR, right? Actually, it's 14, 12, 15, 6, and 17. So Razor gave me the most MMR, then uh, Clockwork and Tide. Well, Razor, Tide, Clockwork, uh, Warlock. And then uh, Spectre, and then, uh, yeah, and then Spectre. And then soon after is Lifestealer and Dazzle. They gave me five wins with MMR. And from there on out, we've got four from Skywrath, four from Riki. Now, these also record my unranked games. So I guess it's not 100% accurate, but I played most heroes only once in unranked. So it pretty much uh, holds up. Now, who are my bottom five heroes in tanking my MMR. And I know that uh, most of these are in ranked. So uh, I know I practiced her a couple of times in unranked, but Drow, Drow has been a reason. Drow is the reason that I'm not Legend 3th. <laughs> uh, let's see, Nyx has been pretty good. Alchemist, oh, I remember Alchemist day like it was just yesterday. Mm. Drow, Alchemist, Disruptor. Okay, I'll tell you why I lost on all of these. Drow, I play her like Razor. I think that's enough said. I get in their face, I force Spike in, and I start blasting them with arrows. It doesn't work like it works with Razor. Then, uh, Disruptor. Honestly, if I'm being honest with you and just dispense with all the lies, it's not my fault. The last four times I picked Disruptor, my team completely imploded. And it's not just attributable to the safe lane, whatever I do there, because I only play him as five, never as four. Just the other two lanes completely lose their shit and lose their cool. In fact, I feel so confident of the strength of this curse it, that I'll, I'll play it again just to show it. And everyone is going to argue on voice. They're going to call each other names. They're going to give up. They're going to GG. They're going to AFK. They're going to disconnect. Yeah. Every time I'm Disruptor. I will entertain the small likelihood that on another support, I would have had more impact and it wouldn't have got to that point. But oftentimes this happens before the 10 minute mark, before the level six minute, uh, before the level six hero already, when I've never had the opportunity to navigate away from lane whether or not I would have been Disruptor or another support. So I think it's very unlikely it had something to do with me. It was just very unlucky. But then again, I don't think I play particularly well, so it's deserved. Then, Sniper. So we've got Disruptor, Sniper, Drow, and Alchemist are my bottom four. And who is the fifth in this illustrious list of losers uh, in Ranked? I just don't think I have enough games. Uh, we can check by total amount of games and then look at win rate. Drow, Disruptor, Alchemist, Sniper. And the next, I suppose, is Enchantress. And she's number five. No. Oh. So if I stop playing Enchantress, Sniper, and Drow, three ranged auto attackers without a lot of mobility, I have noticed the pattern. And Disruptor and Alchemist, I shall be climbing more and more and clinks actually i lost as many with him as i won almost so he's not really responsible for a climb i just like him uh i can play more razor tight clock specter and warlock to get more w's fun list sort by rating ah you can sort by rating as well <laughs> So rating is some kind of Dota AI, which which determines who I'm best at based on the challenge that faced me and stuff. 
So I'm a Warlock player. I still remember before I got to Warlock in A to Z, people were like, you're going to like Warlock. I don't know why they thought so. And there was also an equal amount of people saying Warlock is boring. Ah, Warlock is boring, Betga, Resident Sleeper, Grub Logan, Grub Sleeper. But uh, it's true, I like him. Yeah, we should try to play position for uh, Gyro soon, Excalibur. I need to practice him and then play him. Clockwork really suits me as a hero, so does Warlock. Uh, Spectre, I've been thinking at my level, the way I should play Spectre is with Midas. I, I think Radiance, I don't have enough space to make use of it. And um, I'm not good enough at Diffusal or Orchid. And Blade Mail, I think, is underwhelming. It's unreliable. And it doesn't farm that well. Falcon Blade is a nice connection item to your next item. But I think the key is Midas. And Midas build. Oh my god, cute. So cute. So yeah, that's the list. That is the list. Ursa, Skyrath, Sven, not bad, not bad.